Hello and welcome to my reaction to more Zones Zone Zero. And we've got two trailers for uh, Tsukishiro Yanagi. We have the character demo and the character trailer. This one, which looks a lot more serious, I guess, despite, you know, I'd say, you know, people have called, for example, like Bernie's Kumar Bait. And then we get this character, which seems like even more Kumar Bait, right? Um, I, I guess I'm, I'm a bit like, uh, you know, my, my lingo is a little bit old. It's Gunnar Bait this day, not Kumar. Kumar was a. Uh, it's it's older than that for for the young kids watching, um, but yeah, you know what I mean. Like she is like uh, the ultra sick lady, just you know, kind of over the top, like boing boing, just exploding out of her clothes. Um, so if Bernice was supposed to be a lewd character just for the horny people, I mean, what is she right? Huh? But at the same time, I guess just looking at this thumbnail, there might be more to her, which is what I like huh? when it's uh you know. Not just Orny, when there's more to it, right? Huh? I mean, the true Orny popular characters are the ones who have more to them than just Orny, usually, right? Huh? Um, so yeah, link for both trailers in the description, the link to the Zenes channel, my Discord, StreamLimount, Patreon, if you want to follow or support. Sorry, support me. Let's check it. Let's check it out. This month's financial Sorry about statement. that. Hmm, looks good. Then yeah, next up. Done. Now all I need is the chief's signature. Come to think of it, it's been a while since I've had a red bean bun. Wait, today's training day. I need to get this document to the chief before she leaves. Yeah, he's the chief, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's still here. Damn, I wish that was me. You can have this for now. Later we can... Wait, what? Where's Chief? Uh, Chief? They're really maxing out the traits. So she's not just like a cool on his end, she's a bit of a klutz. Or a bit of a boy Chief, after. We should be up, up there. Excuse me, have you seen? Okay. <laughs> Oops, she's not here either. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'd have to to see the voice in Japanese too. Do I feel like in Japanese she's gonna have like much more honest voice? But as far as like the character presentation, yeah, a little bit more like uh, like less, you know. Uh, I thought she would be more, maybe more like gentle, maybe yeah. like seductive on his side. Chief. She does look the part. Chief? Are you there? What? I'm not really in the mood to deal with you right now. Like we're Inga Bunga yeah. looking at her. I get it. Did she kick her on us? Deal with you right now, but you're asking for it. Oh, she kicked her weapon, but okay. Her ass is just made of jelly, so of course. Okay. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's a cool weapon. Chief Miyabi. In the box. Oh, she Miyabi. Oh. Here they have the best red. What am I doing? Here. Sold out so quickly today. A young lady just got yeah. them all. What was that? The red bean bag. Don't to throw cheat, I guess. Out. Ah, there she is. Red bean buns. I remember you like them. Nice. Look! She's got a ton of red bean buns! Sushiro, I went ahead and finished these for you. It's a bad day, but everybody's nice, so it's fine. Alright, let's eat them together. Beautiful. Hey, that one's for Tsukishiro. It's okay, Sukaku. You can have it. All right. I mean, as I said many times, like I am really impressed with, you know, you might create good or bait, but the way they do it, this is like the way they sell you on a lot of like little traits of the character. Obviously, you know, she's packed like up there, down there, but beyond that, you know, like um, the way she she walks with the deals, the way she puts her hair be behind um, 
uh, year, the you know little like uh, licking your lips, um, and then as far as character type, right? Like you expect a regular kind of Ludonis hand, but she acts much more like you know a bit of a klutz, I guess. Um, so again, like it's all the little like character traits that they take, and rather than make just a purely generic character, they're trying to like um, take a little bit of a trait from like you know maybe different trope and mix them together so the character feels less purely generic, if that makes sense. I think that's how I look at it. Like, they've definitely done a really good job so far, this is I would say, um, in that way. So, yeah. She's hot. She's cute. And I'm shipping her with me, have you already? Alright, let's check out this one, which seems like it's more serious. Oni Guardian. Soldier? Is there no other way? I have to hurry. Huh? Oh, it's a. Uh, I forget her name. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, so cute. Hungry. Shh. Uh, same. Uh, you can't eat that. Wait, let me see what I have. All right. Nice protect. Avenger fallen kin. Ah, uh, so she's part of like the army who killed him to kill Dioni or something. Did they let any of our people live? They almost killed Sokaku just mere moments ago. Sokaku, I was gonna say like, why are we killing Oni? Like, isn't this is his world? Like, there's a bunch of anthropomorphic people and and like. You know, mechanical people and stuff like that. So. Why are we resist against Sony specifically? It's because of people like you. What did you say? It's because of people like you on both sides that the war keeps repeating over and over like a curse we can't escape. It's not to break us like all of human. <laughs> are you saying this is his fault? His father, his brothers, all killed in this war. Not even his baby sister survived. Tell me, who's to blame for all of this? You and I, we're both to blame. Mm. We Hello, should have been the ones to stop this. I don't need to it. Can you just see them? Sokaku, come here now. When Sokaku is insane, he Sis, sis, this lady gave Sokaku tasty food. Sokaku wants to share it. Might also give you some tasty milk. What? What? Everyone! Do you like it? It's a little hard. Make sure you chew it so you don't choke. No! Humans cannot be trusted. All of you stand down. But leave us! <laughs> oh, she's dying. The classic it takes uh, a child to show the adult the way of breaking a cycle of revenge. What is your real intention? If my intel is correct, the one responsible for starting this war is no longer alive. There's no reason for us to keep fighting. That's right. My father is dead. Now, I must carry this burden. I... I just want to protect my people. <laughs> I know you are the only hope to bring peace. But after everything that's happened, how can we forgive each other? The only way is to create an opportunity ourselves. I mean, it's the classic scene of like, maybe you can't forgive each other, but you can make sure the next generation doesn't hate, you know? Like in real life, we had World War One and Two, right? So, well, let's say two specifically, and you know, the people who were involved at the time, they probably hate each other. Majority of them. But, you know, they say trade as, for the most part, wasn't passed as extremely on the next generation. And so that's why, you know, like, things have gone better, right? Can I Somewhat. trust you? 
Hmm. Interesting. I entrust my life to you. Because I trust you'll make the right choice. Human and Oni blood now flow together in your veins. Please. Move on and finish what I never could. Interesting. Don't let our blood be spilled in vain. Man, this really came out of nowhere. Like, what a backstory. And also, I hate it. This is terrible because it's going to be like a queen. Queenie, was it? Like, they show this really serious, interesting backstory. And then in the story itself, there's nothing about it. And you might say it's going to come eventually, but it's freaking unfair to like show something this interesting. And then in the story, it's just going to be like wacky, you know, just like, let's chase some criminal into the Azer for two hours. And that's the story. Like, damn. Like, this is crazy. She has this kind of burden. Like, the last trailer portray, portrays, like, you know, the gunner type of, um, of a character, but this is much more, like, you know, making, making her much more, like, interesting overall, yeah? That's literally what I was saying. The rebel only leader has been executed. Tsukishiro, you've done us a great service. All they wanted was to become citizens of New Eridu. I'll take good care of them. All right. Yeah, of course. I see. Sokaku. Uh huh. Smells like sister. So she was given only blood, and she's Alphony as well. Okay. I mean, again, this is crazy good. Like, this is so much more. Like, it's the second time I feel that. Yeah, the Queenie trailer was the same. But like, it's a lot more interesting than the actual stories we've been presented so far. I think it's fair to say. Like, they've been fun. They've been over the top. They've been slice of life at time. But like, you know, like if we had to to deal with a with a storyline like this in the main story about like you know the what the history of the Oni and accepting the race into New Eridu and stuff like that, that would be super interesting. I hope we actually get something like that, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Okay, well, I'm much more sold. I mean, as far as that, obviously she's out and that's about it. But now there's much more to her, right? Like you can't look at her the same way. Yeah. I mean, it's a classic, you know, you look at someone, but you don't really know who they are. Like, she acts um, a bit clumsy and everything, but she's much more than that. Okay, amazing the straddles. Amazing. Really looking forward to the update. I'll probably be streaming it, maybe Friday, Saturday. We'll see. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. See you. See you, see you.